continuing on from the previous tapping video that I put up um, where I'd take an E minor pentatonic and I'd put it in both hands where I'd had the this shape and this shape I'm going to do some, I'm just going to go a smidgen of theory for you, just a smidgen. Um, if we take the E minor, E natural minor scale, E aeolian, and harmonise it, we discover that we have um, a series of chords. Those chords are E minor, F sharp diminished, G, A minor, B minor, C and D. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of the uh, bits of information in there, one of which is B minor, and I'm going to take the E minor pentatonic and a B minor pentatonic. The reason being, an E minor pentatonic contains E, G, A, B, D, E, and a B minor contains B, D, E, F sharp, A. B. If we put it together, we get very close to the entire scale. The only note that's missing from there is a is a C of some description. Um, so we've got most of the scale put together. It also means you've got two pretty ident identical shapes in different positions. Um, so if I want to try and imply an e, a full E natural minor scale, I have a tendency to do this quite often. Which is to take the B minor shape here. I find that my hand can pretty much play that that shape automatically. And I can kind of mirror ideas and slide around on the other. I can concentrate on my on my right hand. Sense. So what I'm doing is I'm playing with this hand and with this hand and just playing notes between the two. Just a smidgen of the technique I was doing in there, which was um, I brought in my my third finger. Exactly in the same way that you would do with your with your, um, with your left hand, you're not going to go if you can go and use one of the other fingers to do like a hammer on. Well, I'm doing exactly the same idea here. That's, that's all I'm really doing there, um, and that makes some sense to you. So you so the practice thing for this time is to be taking a B minor pentatonic and an E minor pentatonic, and see if you can just play the notes from each one with each hand. They're pretty much symmetrical shapes, so you can just kind of you can kind of imagine. For me, it's the left hand in like my mind's eye, and I play the right hand actually looking at it. So have a try of that.